stand experience. My What's your worst one night stand experience? My worst one night stand experience. I'd been talking to a guy for a while, thought he was gonna go somewhere. We end up going back to his place. We get in bed. We start having. S he said he can't finish. And I was like, no, no, no. Yes, you can. You just haven't been with the right person before. First time I've ever met him. First time I've. And then he goes to the bathroom, finishes himself. What? <laughs> and comes back to bed. That was my worst night, my first one night span experience. He was like, nobody's ever made me come before. And I was like, I can be the one. And then he goes to the bathroom. First of all, this is a true sign that the man was not in the woman and he just grabbed her up because it was an easy piece of peace leaf. But at the same time, it's showing you that men watch too much P-Hub to the point where you don't need the woman anymore more when you specialize in pleasing yourself. And it's the same thing with women. Women have mastered it more than a man has mastered it to himself, which is why no one is pursuing relationships. They'd rather pursue friendships, continue with their dreams, and have one night stay to test out the waters. So you're an interracial couple? Hell yeah, yeah hell yeah. How long? Uh, almost two years in February. Man, how do y'all meet? Here. Clemson. What's the next step, man? Uh, we're both in school, so we both got finished school before we even got, you know, before I put a ring on it or something like that, you know what I'm saying? I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Are you gonna have his babies? Uh, after we're married. Okay. So, um, for the woman who don't know, what does a BBC feel like? If you guys don't know what the BBC is, then you should know what the BBC is. At this point, a lot of these Caucasian women, they are used to it. This is not a shock anymore. The thing is, is that a lot of you black guys, you can't allow this to go through your head because you have to realize after 25, things change. Yes, sir. I we are happy. <laughs> so women do enjoy having their back blown out in the bedroom. I'm not so be honest. We already getting recorded. How do you pleasure a woman in the bedroom for the guys that wouldn't know? This is something that you corny dudes do. You ask corny questions at the wrong time. No man really cares at this point how you get it done. There's no direction to it. It works like this. If that woman is not into you, she's going to fake it the whole time and have you thinking that you the man because there's something that you have that she wants out of you. You will know that it's real. You will know when you're doing something when she goes to sleep and she becomes annoying the next day. That's when you know you laid it down. If she's not annoying after that, she's been faking it the whole time. Hey, man, you got to learn how to eat that coochie, man. Find a bean, go to crazy. It's that simple. Do you think she's laughing because she's embarrassed or she's laughing because you're right? Ask her about the last time I ate the coochie. He's right. <laughs> so, food for thought, guys. Stay away from eating the cat. I don't care what you say. Stay away from getting eating the cat. The cat is too close to the machine that she's using. You have to realize, remember in the last video, she said the guy went in the bathroom and, and fixed himself up? Okay, that's what it's like when you're down there with the cat, but you're placing the risk. What you want to learn to do is lay the pipe down. That's what you want to learn to do is to tame it. Stay away from eating a cat. Eating a cat is a beta male trait. It's like you giving in to the pleasure zone. What you want to do, you need to be able to tame it. You tame it, she's going to last longer. You get used to eating a cat. She gonna be bossing you around. Cation. Please, I don't do anything, please. I mean it, like I really mean it. I told you for the million. I don't want to do nothing, bro. I don't want to. I don't want you to count. I don't want you to block no one. I don't even want you six feet from me, girl. I want you to pack your things. You're going home. That's it. That's it. No, it's not no. much to talk about. It's not much to talk. You lost me, bro. You lost me, honestly, like about an hour ago because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what's happening here is they are on vacation. She went to sleep. They are inside of an Airbnb and he went through her phone and saw her communicating with another guy. So now what he's doing is he's telling her she got to go to the airport and go home because he don't want to continue the vacation with her. You wanted to talk. We're talking and I'm talking calmly with you. I'm not even raising my voice at you. I'm asking you to pack your things so I can take you to the airport. Yeah. Keep your head up, kings. I'm being so serious right now. No. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can say to me that you can do for me. Can, nothing you can do for me. I, I can, can block that guy. I 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 can
him. I could, I could even call him right now. Yes. When they for the streets, they for the streets. What you do is, if you're dealing with a girl and you find out that she's dealing with other guys, then you let that be. You never say anything. Trust me, never say anything. All you got to do is act like you know without saying that you know, and you will maintain the power. She needs to be asking, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting like this? What are you doing like that? You need to be able to leverage her wrong so you can get what you want out of her. That's what men need to learn how to do. Stop putting her on the spot because it's easier for her to move on. Is there more than that? No. Please. Sorry, please. No. Please. This is what's gonna happen. No, I don't, I don't look, wanna, no, I get no. it. Look, 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 look. Stop stopping, girl. We in an apartment, girl. Denise, bro. Please, I'm not. Okay, keep talking. Ask me to beg me for nothing. Go sit down. No, I don't. Look, I prom Look, it sucks, right? Because <laughs> I was willing to do anything and everything for you. Really, I really was. Cause I brought you out here. Like that's already crazy. Stop, please, no. Let me tell you something about puppy love. It's easy for you to have puppy love because you're young. You're still living at your mom and dad's house. You're still living a little free. Even when you're in college, you haven't really taken on full responsibilities of life. So all of your emotion and attention can go towards a relationship. That's why a lot of young people put the most into a relationship and get the least out of it. As you get older, around 25 years old, when you start living on your own, you start paying bills and you start going to work every day and you have this on a continuation you won't be playing these games inside of a relationship that's what you have to realize that puppy love go out the door when you get on your purpose and make yourself valuable and you start to value the life that you designed for yourself look I, go. It, it was my fault yeah it I'm, was i'm sorry no please forgive me that's fine i'll forgive you but i dance no. won't forget crazy how we had that conversation like an hour please ago please stop no bro you look you just have to grow. Please, you please. act like shit like that don't come with like consequences. Now nah, I'm not gonna flip your shit right now. I'm gonna I'm being nice. I'm telling you to pack your things. I'm gonna take you to the airport. I'm gonna even get you a flight, bruh. When it's all said and done, I think it's a skit. Nowadays, people just love playing into the heart of the week that's already had their heart broken. Everyone's doing it now. People are creating skits to make it look like these are real life events. And then people are reacting to the videos as if the situation is real. And the only ones that are being fooled are the ones that are staying online all day doing nothing with their life. It's all a rotating cycle of people who have nothing else to do. Let's go to the next video. A real loser is somebody that's so afraid of not winning, they don't even try. When it feels scary to jump, that is exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. If you have an idea that you genuinely think is good, don't let some idiot talk you out of it. The most important thing in the world is what you believe about yourself. People give up right before they about to get whatever they need to get. Like, damn, you right there. You right on the door. And it's always the toughest when you're, like, right there. In this lifetime, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody except yourself. Whatever you want to do, believe it, believe it, believe it, even if you don't believe. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. So if you want to change your future, you got to change your thoughts now. The reason... The reason why I played this video is because a lot of people are trapped inside of the matrix with these videos that we react to. Now, my message to you is, as the content creator, I subconsciously every day know what type of content that I am creating. So it kind of prevents it from taking over my soul and my belief system because I already know what I believe in and what I deliver is just warning signs. But a lot of you guys that are watching these videos, you're watching it every single day and you have brainwashed yourself inside of a reality that doesn't exist. Is the information real that you hear? The information is very real, but a lot of this information is always worst case scenario in real life. Not that many people are going through the severity of the situations that we react to. That's the difference that a lot of people are not understanding in reality. And so far, you must break this cycle of your belief system to be happy because we're going inside of a world right now where everything that's bad is good and everything that's good is bad. But it's all forms of self-destruction if you cannot level your life out. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you guys got the message behind the videos. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.